Hi. God bless you. This is evangelist and apostolic worship leader Jacob Toback broadcasting live from TrueWorshipTV.com. Well, today you're going to receive one of the secret cre keys that is going to be able to cause you to be able to enter into true worship that releases the glory of God. We're going to go immediately to Psalms 29. It's that Psalms 29 starting at verse 2. It says, Give to the Lord the glory that is due His name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. First of all, give to the Lord the glory due His name. Just his name is due honor. See, glory and honor are the same thing. We must give honor to the one who is called Yahweh, which is God's name, Yahshua, which is Jesus' name, God is salvation, and the Holy Spirit. Now, it says, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Now, the, the question is, beloved, the word worship, what does it mean? Well, first I want to tell you that the original Old Testament, the original language is Hebrew. And if you take a look at that word worship, it means to bow. That's correct. So actually, the original Hebrew does not say worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. It says bow to the Lord, bow to Yahweh in the beauty of holiness. So you see that word worship is just a general term. Now, if we look into the concordance, the Strong's Concordance. Now, the Strong's Concordance is the recognized authority by every person in leadership in, the, in, in, leadership in the churches today. It's called the Strong's Concordance. And the word is Shechor. And it's number 7812 in the Hebrew. And the word worship there simply says, bow, kneel, prostrate. Bow, kneel, and prostrate. So basically it's bow to the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Whereas in today's churches, during worship, now we're not talking about praise. Praise is honoring God for what he's done. You can stand up, you can clap, you can run around the church, which is they do, and that's fine. Praise is honoring God for what he's done. But when we move from the outer court, which is praise, we go into worship, which is honoring God for who he is. That's what worship is. It's honoring God for who he is. Most churches, 90, 99 tenths, people are either sitting, but most are standing. But that's not what the word of God says. The word of God says that worship means bow, kneel, and prostrate. Let every man and every devil be a liar, but let the word of God be true. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall live forever. And as Yahweh said, I've exalted my word above my very own name. Man does not live by bread alone, but he lives by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. So again, the word worship means to bow, kneel, and prostrate. And that's a, an act of humility before the Lord. So I'm going to encourage you as you enter into worship, not praise now, worship, you are to be either on your knees or kneeling or prostrating. Prostrating means flat on your face. This is the way all the men of God and women of God worship God. But in today's Christianity, you hardly ever see it. This is going to be your key. And it says in the beauty of holiness. So, worship consists of position and condition. Position and condition. Position of the body and in the beauty of holiness. Holiness is the condition of the heart. Again, the keys to worship. Position. Bow. Kneel prostrate in the beauty of holiness which means the condition of the heart and of course that would lead into deep repentance but this is a start for you 
as you come into worship now I'm going to encourage you to obey the word of God and not man's traditions it's not what man says it's what God says again in the Strong's Concordance the word worship is Shehoah it's found in number 7812 bow, kneel and prostrate when you enter into that submitted position the power of God the presence of God is automatically released uh, I want to encourage you to call my number my personal number 516-840-0800 if you have any questions if you'd like to anything that is not clear to you you're more than welcome to call my personal number that's 516-840-0800 I'm also going to introduce you to 10 of the most anointed worship music CDs that exist today as soon as you listen to these CDs the presence of God comes we also have two books one is called No Flesh Stands in the Holy of Holies the second one is Holy Communion Unleashing the Power of Heaven which is the key to walk in holiness plus the third is the world's first live DVD home study course which consists of 10 DVDs each two and a half hours under the anointing of services we've had in Chicago's Wall of Fire gathering please I want to encourage you 516-840-0800 516-840-0800 and uh, on the next telecast we're going on to the next secret the next secret of offering up true throne room worship which is according to the word of God and not according to the dead traditions of men God bless you may the Lord bless you and keep you may he shine his face upon you and may he grant you peace until again this is evangelist Jacob Toback apostolic worship teacher and leader of truth from Mormon worship encouraging you come to him come to him on bended knees come to him on your face and cry out Lord show me now your glory I want all of you Lord I don't want religion anymore I want you Father I want you Yahshua Jesus I want you Holy Spirit God bless you